During this lecture, we'll be talking about genotypic frequencies and allelic frequencies. And to help us understand this more, we're going to be talking about and explaining them using examples. First of all, we've got an example portraying the differences in the color of the flower with relation to its genotypic difference. Now, before we start, let's try to uh, pinpoint a couple of terminologies. Whenever I say R, I mean capital R. And whenever I say small r, obviously, I'm going to be referring to the small r. So, uh, let's uh, start. We've got uh, RR is going to be giving us a red color in the flower. Um, R, small r, is going to be giving us the pink color in the flower. And small r, small r, is going to give us a white color in the flower. There's one thing we can quickly notice here is that the R small r is going to be giving us a pink color. Therefore, we've got a blending of colors which signifies co-dominance. This is also called co incomplete dominance. Now, let's uh, dive into some numbers. We've got a thousand flowers and it's divided as follows. 300 are red, 500 are pink, and 200 are white. They are going to be homozygous dominant, heterozygous, and hetero het homozygous recessive respectively. Now, when we're, whenever we're talking about uh, the, uh, this is obviously referring to the genotypic frequencies. Now, if you want to talk about the allelic frequencies, we've got uh, differences. Here, first of all, we have to understand that each genotype is going, to be have, is going to be having two alleles because obviously our cells are deployed. Therefore, whenever I'm talking about uh, 300, whenever I say that 300 flowers have the genotype RR, that means I have 600 R alleles. Therefore, the total, allelic, uh, the total alleles that are present in a population are two times the population. Here, in this example, we've got 1,000 flowers. Therefore, the total number of alleles are 2,000. Now, let's continue. We've got RR. Uh, we have 300 RRs. Therefore, we've got 600 R alleles. We've got 500 R small r, therefore we've got 500 R allele and 500 small r allele. And then we've got two small r which are uh, present in 200 of the flowers, which refer to two times the 200, therefore 400 small r. It's uh, quite difficult to explain, but I hope the point is clear. Now, uh, just uh, wrapping it up, we've got allelic frequency of r, that is 1100, which are the 600 plus the 500 divided by the 2,000 that we previously spoke about, which is the total number of alleles, that is, two times the population. And this is going to be signifying 0.55 of, um, of the total alleles. Next, we've got the allelic frequency of small r, which is 900, that is, 500, uh, 500 small r plus 400 small r, which refers to um, 0.45. Here, it is also always uh, important to understand that we have to make sure that the total is always 1. Next, uh, let's go and dive into even more examples. In example number one, what we are seeing is that uh, studying the locus that patterns the spot of the scarlet tiger mo moth, Panaxia dominula. It has three genotypes, BB, which is many spots, B, small b, fewer spots, and B, small b, small b, which is very few spots. The total here is 497 moths, and they were observed. 452 of them had BB, 43 had B, small b, and 2 had small b, small b. Before we continue, I'd like you to pause the video here and try to calculate the total genotypic frequencies and allelic frequencies. Let's continue. If you want to calculate the genetic and allelic frequencies, let's start with the genetic. We've got BB, which is 409, uh, 452, just like we said earlier, divided by the total number of moths in the population, which is 497. That is going to be uh, referring to 0 0.907, uh, 909 of the total population. Next, we've got the B, small b, which is 43 out of 497, which is 0 0.087. And small b, small b, which is 2 out of 497, which is going to be 0 0.004 of the total uh, population. They must always total to 1. Next, uh, oh, actually, before we go to the next part, I'd just like to refer here to, uh, we are seeing that 497 is used here, and we also have to always remember that whenever we're talking about the genetic frequencies, we are going to be, uh, the number we are going to be using is the total number of population, whereas the allelic frequencies, it is the total number of the population times two. Let's continue with the allelic frequencies. Now we have to divide them, the uh, capital B, or the B, and the small b, for B, we've got 2 times 452. Remember that we have a deployed set of, uh, uh, deployed set of alleles. 
or genes. So we've got 2 times 452 plus 43, all divided by 994, which is 497 multiplied by 2, by the way. Uh, that is going to be 947 divided by 994, which is 0 0.95. And, and to, to just not delay it even further, small b is equal to 43 plus 2 times 2, which is equal to 47 over 994, which is 0 0.04. Seven. Always recall that they must always total to 1. Now, uh, in this last example, where we will be talking about a, the frog color, and the alleles related to the frog color are G and small g. The genotypes are G, uh, GG, which is green, G, small g, which is green also, and we've got small g, small g, which is going to be giving us a brown color for the frog. Always, now we have to understand here that this is a complete dominance and not incomplete dominance like we saw before. Because we've got the G, it's going to be completely dominant over the small G, therefore giving us the green color and not a mix of the green and the brown. The values are 100 G, G, 160 G, small G, and uh, 140 small G, small G. Just like the example before, I'd like you to pause the video here and try to solve the genotypic frequencies and allelic frequencies. Now, we'll be talking about and calculating the genetic and allelic frequencies. The genetic one, which is G, G, which, and, small, and G, small G, this is going to be giving us the green color. Here, we have to bundle them together because they are both giving us the green color, by the way. Now, here, all we have to do is add 100 plus 160. Please fix this. It is not 140. So, it is 100 plus 160, which is totals up to 260 out of 400. Remember that 400 is the total number of frogs observed and studied in this population. This is going to be giving us 0 0.65 green. Small g, small g, which is going to be giving us a brown color, is 140 only. And we've got 140 divided by 400, which is 0 0.35 brown. The allelic frequencies observed here are, uh, we have to obviously divide them, which is g, that is 2 times the 100, plus 1 times the 160, which is equal to 360 divided by 800. And obviously the 800 came from the total number of the population times 2. This is going to be giving us 0.45g, and small g is going to be 160 plus 2 times the 140, since we observed 2 uh, small g's in this, uh, uh, in this genotype. Uh, the calculation is as follows, 440 divided by 800, which is going to be 0.55 small g. Always, we have to notice that the total must always add up to 1.